Well, it's not just feminists versus homemakers anymore. Now there's a, a debate as to whether or not it is God's will for women to stay at home. Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary has started a program for women to learn homemaking. Time for a fair and balanced debate. Southwestern's president, Dr. Paige Patterson, and Dr. Robert Parnum, director for ethicsdaily.com. Thanks so much for joining us, gentlemen. Let me start with you, Dr. Patterson. You teach a course, uh, basically home economics for the modern day, and in it you say that women should stay at home and take care of their husband and their children. What about women who hope to find fulfillment outside of the home? Well, of course, Allison, we don't say that. Uh, we believe that every person is free as Baptists to, to do anything they want to do that they feel led to do. But we do believe that if a woman chooses to stay home and she chooses to devote her full energies to her husband and to her children and to the development of her home, that that is noble and not ignoble. Sure. And we feel that she ought to have the opportunity. Sure, but do you think that's the, the best way for society to really thrive? Well, I do believe that uh, society will do better when the home is placed in a prominent position and role that it needs to be. And I do believe that any society, soci societal order, is endangered whenever the home is not given the importance that it has in its biblical context. Okay, and, jo uh, and, and uh, Robert Parham, do you think that society is in danger because women choose to work outside of the home? We should never claim for the Christian faith, what the Bible does not claim for itself. The Bible offers many examples of women who we would today call professional women who worked in professions. Deborah was a judge. Lydia was a merchant. We believe that it's important to allow women a great deal of freedom and we should not impose on women a false biblical model. Okay, gentlemen, we're running out of time, but thank you for both of your perspectives this morning. Paige Patterson, Robert Parham, thank you. Coming up.